All right, so this is the start of a uh, gantry crane, but uh, using the new hinge hinge pis uh, hinge pistons. Excuse me, using the new hinge blocks. Uh, the idea here is is that by utilizing the fact that these will pivot on both the car and the top of the, the line over here, you don't have to have all of the collapsed piston length getting in the way. You can just have it at a steeper angle, and then as it pushes out, the uh, the car will just roll roll down the ramp, and that angle will become shallower um, because of the hinges. So all I need to do now is finish placing the wheels. Why can this wheel not be placed? Can it be placed up there? Oh, because this is a 3x3. Three three. Oh, this is actually the right wheel, but oh well. The wheels will be backwards. It will be fine. Okay. And so now, what I'd like to do is try to get this hinge to not have uh, any uh, torque at all, because I want it to allow it to pivot. Kind of like that. Didn't really want it to bash into my my arm, but uh, you know what happens. All right, so I'm thinking that this drill might be too tall. So let's get get rid of the drill for now. Um, I want something down there for some counterweight. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll probably be fine. Let's find out if it's fine. But so far, it's looking like it's going to work. As long as this will fit in here. So let's just, uh, just ensure that that will fit. And we'll run these supports down. And we will delete that block, and that block, that block, and that block. And we'll delete these blocks. Now that should definitely fit. So now we just want to slowly lower this guy down. We'll do minimum distance. We'll just go really slow at first. Using the piston as like a crane is working great. All of the jerkiness I'm sure is totally helping. Ooh, it's going to be close in the back. Is that further? Oh, that's weird. I fucked that up. and just extend that out a little bit keep dropping this down down there we go touchdown Uh, it's still actually on. 
but this can go all the way down. So now the car is on there. So now we'll want piss or hinge number two. We want hinge one to be locked. That's this first hinge right here. This hinge up here. We want it to be free to move. Now we want these guys to be, this will be piston uh, one, one. One, two. One, three. One, four. And one, five. And of course, I put a space in this one, so it's not very helpful. One, 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 five. One, two, one, three, one, four. Uh, this will be car pistons. And I uh, want to get to these wheels. And then we want to not let them steer at all. Uh, and we're going to want to not have them have propulsion or brake or air shocks. We don't want anything. We just want them to, to be there. Then we also want to drop the car down lower. We want to lower the car. Because I think that'll help. Get the center of mass down and all. So that should be my height offset. Yeah, this direction. We will just slam it. Boom, just like that. And can we give it a drill? Maybe the drill will fit. How close is that? That might leave a mark in the ice at least. That's really all we're going for right now. Now it has some weight to it, so proof of concept. All right, so I'm gonna need more track as well. Go ahead and go like I don't know, maybe forty blocks. It's probably way too far, but uh, I'm kind of feeling like better safe than sorry. If the car falls off, I'm gonna be sad. Hey, you're supposed to go under. Like that. Um, and then we'll just do like uh, one of these there. It's a break. And now we'll come over here. Drag this guy out. All right, I think that's even. Is that even? I think it's even. Yep. 
Yes, that is even. We'll come all the way over here. That was all the way too far. Alright. And now we have track. So I think... I think I can... Just come here, do this, once I give it a remote control block, those pistons are on there. So I want to be able to see all of this. Let's go to the not shady side. And let's go here and remote access and not available. And terminal. And I want the, uh, let's see here, drill. Oh God, what drills are those? I don't know what those drills are. All right, drills are gonna be off for now. Car pistons, let's do velocity, let's do, I don't know, one? How many pistons do I have? Five? So five meters a second? That seems fast for the, for the test. All right, well it appears to be working. I don't know what the smoke is from. Is it good smoke or is it bad smoke? I don't know if that's good smoke or bad smoke. Let's turn that on. Turn you on. Oh, I gave it way too much. My original guesstimate of track was perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. And there should be ice in here now. Yep, let's go into there. Going into our H2O2 generators. So yeah, I mean, proof of concept is definitely there. You can... Definitely, uh, let's see, groups, car pistons, reverse. You can definitely run your, uh, your gantry car back and forth, utilizing the, the new hinge blocks and pistons. Put a piston on the car itself and that will allow you to drop your drills further down. So like each pass, you can drop the drill. But yeah, I would say that this is a, a really good success. All right, so stopping's a little rough, but uh, that's fine. Looks like it actually might be... Fuel critical off the shelf or the rails yeah it might be might be a little off the rails i believe i can alter this guy um hinge one and that should have put it back on yeah that looks like it did and let's go K, take control, and I want car pistons. Let's, uh, let's make it go faster. Let's do negative one and reverse. All right, so if you make it go fast, 
Fuel critical. Definitely, definitely Energy can struggle low. a bit on the stops. But that is all right. So yeah, I haven't seen this style yet, um, using the new hinge blocks, maybe with rotors before, but with the hinge blocks, this is definitely a, st a, uh, a method of making a gantry car that seems to be working pretty well, and it'll easily take the ore that you mine, whether you're like strip mining stone or, in my case, ice, it'll take it up the pistons and write down your conveyor tubes into your storage containers ready for processing. So I hope this helps, and... Uh, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, share this to your space engineers, friends, if you're looking for a new way of building uh, a drill, drill rig or a drilling base. And uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.